get yourself a copy of the free GDoc Creator. It lets you create, print, and view your Microsoft Office Docs to PDF or XPS. Download a copy right now at butterscotch.com slash GDoc. That's butterscotch.com slash GDoc. Welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on online tax preparation using TurboTax. Now, we've gone through the basic parts of preparing your taxes. We want to look at some of the extra features. So here under Federal Taxes, we'll go in, we'll explore on our own. And a neat feature in TurboTax is that, say you want to do something with interest. Okay, so you can start. And say you look and you say, I need interest from a Schedule 1K. So you can drop a flag. You add a flag. We we'll put in a note that it's a K1. Now we can save it. If you want, you can add another one. So now we have a flag. We can put in our information. But if we see something that we can't answer, once again, we can add another flag. Give ourselves a note that we need U.S. Treasury interest and save that. And you see, you need a unique name for each title so they don't get mixed up. So we'll save that. So now you see we have two flags. So we're going to go through here. Get in here to income. Well, now, when we want to go back, we just click on flags. We click on there, and it takes us right back to the place where we need to be in order to enter that information. So these are flags. They're extremely useful because as you're going through with your taxes, if you find there's something you don't have, something you need to get, a document that you left someplace else, you can just drop a flag and then be able to get back to it later. Also, it helps you to make sure that you don't forget to go back and do it later. So these are flags. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts.